Hello YouTube, Matthew Williams here, just bringing you a little video on maybe the state of anarchy in this country that we have at the moment and how this should be maybe fostered a little and expanded upon a little in order to best achieve the aims of the mass populace which certainly aren't being realised by our governments at the moment and when we say governments we mean public government i.e. the one that they say is de democratic, the one that you vote in but never seems to do what it says and always works in its own interests um, that one, that's the public government. Then you've got the secret government, the one that operates behind the scenes, that works with big business, and basically they're the ones that tell uh, normal government what they're going to do, whether or not the public like it or not. They're the ones that actually run the show. And then you've got the unelected government, which is the Queen, and how they basically settle... Um, <laughs> certain scores internationally um, with long-term standing uh, problems such as the Middle East and how they go about um, dealing with things like that on a very long agenda um, level. But let's not talk too much about um, politics because what we should talk about is the realities and what we need to do to fix things. I mean, talking politics is bollocks basically because you can talk politics till you blew in the fucking face and the Freemasons and the secret world order and the bankers and the conspiracy fucking wankers will always do what they want to do and you know we will always just be marginalized to the sidelines so what we need to do is like they've done in Egypt recently is you want to say hey fascist dictatorship just like we've got in the UK fascist dictatorship fascists why don't you fuck off How's about that? Yeah? Now, as you can see, they're still clinging on in Egypt. Those fucking, those motherfuckers won't come out. They're like, no, 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 you got rid of the main man, but you're not getting rid of us. No, the point is, they should all go. All of them. One fell swoop. Yeah? Now, how do we do this in the UK? How do we tell the fascist cunts that run this fucking show under the facade of democracy and freedom when we all know that we are not free? And we all know that we have to fucking pay our tax whether we like it or not. Yeah, No matter how unfair and unrealistic those taxes are, we have to pay them yeah, by ransom. So there's a, there's a term called mortgage. Mortgage, yes? Mort gauge, which means death. Mort is death and gauge is grip. Death grip. So mortgage is a death grip. Now, most people who have families, and let's face it, you know, in this world you're meant to get married, and when you get married it's very hard to get divorced because they don't want you to get divorced. But when you get married and you have kids, then you have to go and get a job, and then you have to have a mortgage, and then you have to pay high taxes. So basically, your life is set out in a direction, and that's what the conspiracy wants. And they don't want you having control of your life, and they don't want you doing the things that you want to do. They want to make sure that you have just about enough freedom, just about enough to get away with their little plans. So they, they constantly pull the net in tighter and tighter to see how much they can push this fucking game that they've been playing. And the point is that we in the UK seem to take it quite well. We take a good shafting, and we just keep on pushing back. We just keep on, okay, all right, oh, that, that dick up my ass is really hurting, but oh, yeah, okay. Now, in France, they don't take it quite so uh, easily. They, uh, they turn to the streets, and they shut the country down. When they're not getting listened to, they shut the country down until the politicians and the lawmakers and the bureaucrats and the bankers listen to them. And it seems to work because they get listened to. You know, they actually get listened to. Now, I seem to remember um, one little fascist dictatorship in uh, Egypt being told to fuck right off. And uh, it worked. And it only took a month to do. It took a month to get these little fuckers out. Now, who, who ever wanted speed cameras? Yeah? Did you want speed cameras? I didn't want speed cameras. You know, I know loads of people who've lost their licenses because of going a couple of miles an hour over, and uh, overzealous police departments now using speed cameras in order to actually fund themselves. So they're having their funding pulled, and they'll have to find it in other ways. And of course, they're going to try other little business projects like speed cams because they know they can stand they can stand on the edge of the street and go money, 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 money all day long. So that's how they're going to get their funding. Yeah. Well, we need to put a stop to that because nobody ever asked for that, and we don't want that. 
<laughs> and we are going to get what f- we fucking want. And that's my attitude, is we, the public, are going to get what we fucking want. Not what the rich bastards, not what the elite, not what the fucking millionaires living in their fucking Georgian mansions out in the countryside, not what... Oh, my computer just went a bit funny, so I don't know if that's that's fucked up the recording now. But what we want is we want no tax on fuel, yes? No fucking tax. Why the fuck do you pay 17.5% or 20% now as it is? It's 20% now. 20% tax on a packet of sweets, but you pay 70% on fucking fuel. This means if I fill up with 40 quid's worth of fuel... Right, the actual cost I should be paying is twelve pounds. I shouldn't be paying forty pounds, I should be paying twelve pounds. That's what I should be paying. Not forty fucking pounds. Yes? So I say we shut the country down. We shut the country down on June the first, and we shut it down for a month. We blockade the roads, we blockade the petrol stations, we blockade everything. We stop this country and we bring this country to its knees until the government release tax off petrol that's number one right second thing is fuck off the speed cameras that's our second fucking thing and third thing is no inheritance tax because people who earned their money when they die have a right to give it to their fucking heirs without the government being involved because that's money that's already been earned tax on you can't tax something that's already been taxed it's like taxing a packet of sweets three times, yeah? You can't fucking do it. So inheritance tax has got to go, speed cameras have got to go, and the fucking tax on petrol, gone. Not just reduced, gone. No tax on petrol. No tax on petrol. And the reason no tax on petrol is because I don't want to get into a game of how much and 15% or maybe 20% or maybe we'll have a chat about it. There is no talking. There is no debate. Tax is gone on petrol. Gone. Just gone. Altogether, 100% gone. Because we say so. We, the people, make it so. Not the governments, not the toffee-nosed twats, not the rich bastards, not the bankers, not the wankers, us. Fuck it off. June. Till July. We're going to have a holiday in this country. Now, Germany has uh, quite long holidays, and uh, it has much holi- much more holidays than we have in the UK. They have the longest holidays in Europe. Now, isn't it funny that we actually beat Germany in the war? You know, that, not that it wasn't funded by both sides by international banks. Oh, we won't talk about that. But anyway, we beat Germany in the war. And if we beat Germany in the war, why have we got worse working conditions and less holiday time than Germany? Why? That takes the piss, yeah? So, the bottom line here is people need to wake up and realise that we've been shafted and we're going to take it back. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn July, to, well, June to July, into the new UK holiday. And we're going to have a month of holiday time and people are legally going to be allowed to take that holiday every year and people in business can go suck a fuck, as far as I'm concerned, yes? And people in in work, it's your new free holiday. June to July, in the sun, you're on holiday. That's a new holiday for you. Okay, and we're going to start it this year. So who's with me? Let me know in the comments section below.